Texas Tech has fired Matt Wells, and he was 13 and 17. In, in his you know two and a half seasons or whatever they are sitting currently at five and three but they have got uh, the four big dogs left in the big 12 they and I'm guessing that this was a I, I will tell you this from everything that I have heard everything that I have read this was just a bad relationship that never uh, materialized greatly in his time there it just never worked out well once he got to Lubbock and although they are showing some signs of improvement, it does kind of suck that his star, his star, his transfer quarterback that came in that was supposed to be kind of the saving grace, came in and got hurt within the first few games. Had to go back to a guy that wasn't exactly successful with him last year, and now you know we're we're looking at who's going to be the next guy there. I I hate it for Wells, but he's a guy that had had been at Utah State for I mean a decade and did really good things. Uh, before we get into candidates for this job, what what are your thoughts on um, firing you know Wells you know halfway through his third season? It came as a shock to me. Like I just I wasn't expecting that. You know I, I didn't see you know any any signs of something of that happening. You know this team has been we've talked about them. They've gone as as this season has gone, which is inconsistent as you can imagine. So. But I, I don't know that anything that I saw this year was fireable so far. That's that's kind of how I felt. I mean, they they were five and three. They got a big win over Houston in in week one uh, when Tyler Shuck was healthy, and you know they lost last week. They had a double digit lead in that game and lost to Kansas State, who is a, a formidable opponent. Like that's that's not something to scoff at to get beat by Kansas yeah, State. Yeah, but blowing the double digit lead might be something to scoff at. Uh, yeah, it is, but it, even still, it's you know, it, it's not something that I look at as that's fireable to lose by one to Kansas State. You know, it, it, I still feel like this team was improved, and you know, so it obviously it was not the Kansas State game per se. This was uh, obviously a relationship breakdown that just did not work. They are two and three in the Big Twelve right now. They lost to Texas, gave up seventy points in that game. They won at West Virginia. Then they come back, they lose to TCU, they beat up pretty good on Kansas, but almost everybody aside from Oklahoma does that, and and then they lose by one to Kansas State, but here, you know, you've got Oklahoma, or you're on the road in Norman this weekend, you've got Iowa State, Oklahoma State, and at Baylor to close out the season. Odds are, you will probably win one of those, like it just, just going on baseline odds, my guess is that they would not win any of them, and they'll be five and seven again. And and maybe this was a firing to just go ahead and get out in front of this thing, even if he does win one of these and end up getting them to a bowl game. And they, they can tell the direction of the program is not good. Might as well go ahead and get him out of here and let's get somebody that, that we want in here. So uh, that's what I think is going on. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit some of the names that are the candidates. And it, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm well tied in, but I, I know guys that cover the Big 12. And, and I have talked to them, and what they have told me right off the bat was be looking for the Art Bryles tree because all of these boosters at Texas Tech, one, they want Art Bryles. I don't know that they can get away with it politically with the chancellor and everything else. We'll see. But Art Bryles is called one, and then from there it's going to be do we, do we want to go with Kendall Bryles, who is the OC at Arkansas, or Jeff Levy, who is the OC at Ole Miss. And both of those guys are from that Browse tree. Jeff Levy, of course, married to Art Browse's daughter. Both of them run kind of the same stuff. We saw what that game was between Arkansas and Ole Miss, 52-51. Those are the first three to me. And then aside from that, you've got, you know, another offensive guy in Sonny Dykes. You remember Spike Dykes, legendary Texas Tech coach. Uh, Sonny Dykes actually played baseball for the Red Raiders. And he's over at SMU right now. Would he want to leave Dallas to go to Lubbock? That's a question. And then, of course, the last one that's that's been tossed around is Jeff Trailer over at UT San Antonio, uh, or or maybe does Jeff Trailer have his sight on uh, on bigger jobs? Let's uh, let's roll through these. Tell me first off your thoughts on on the Bryles tree here. A- any one of those three? What do you think about that? Uh, you know my opinion on Art. I, you know, I don't I don't think Art should be blacklisted from football forever and I'd love to see him get another job. I, I know that that turns people off 
And I know that that angers people. 90% of those people don't know the full story of, of what happened there. They haven't spent any time actually looking into it at all. They just take what the media gave them uh, at first, and then they just assume that is gospel and is true, and that's how it's all played out. So with that being said, that's my that's the guy I would love to see get another chance. Well, for those that, but let me interrupt you here. For those that do not know, like let's just make it very clear, Art Bryles got paid his entire contract from Baylor. If he were to blame for any of this, there is no way that they pay him out his entire contract. He was a scapegoat. No, no he'd have been fired for call. Yes, yes. Bottom line. So uh, Kendall Bryles, I don't. I mean, do you think he's prepared to take over a P five job? Like maybe as prepared as as Cliff was, right? Yeah, I was about to say I don't know that I like either of those guys, but not see that's a relative term. Do I like them? Yes. Do I like both of them? Absolutely. Do I think they're ready to run their own program as a P five? That's a that's a that's a big hill to climb. It is. It definitely. But it falls right into what you were saying just on the the most recent show we did, the reaction show, where it, CEOs don't matter anymore. You have to hire a guy that is the play caller uh, in order to keep him around. And yeah. and both of those guys fit that mold. You know, Jeff Lebby and and Kendall Bryles. Sonny Dykes is a very interesting one. Of course, the ties to the school. You think he would have interest in in leaving SMU? I mean, he's kind of building a, a juggernaut there. Or does he stick around and wait and see if if maybe SMU gets so an invite to the Big Twelve? Well, yeah, this is the interesting thing about that is I kind of think SMU is a better better job than Texas. I know that I'm going to catch the ire of Texas Tech people, but like the Big Twelve is not what the Big Twelve used to be anymore. Okay, how far off is the American from the Big Twelve? I, I don't think it's far at all. And and in the last couple of years, I don't think it's been far at all either. Now this, you're losing Texas I, and Oklahoma. With the boosters at SMU, I don't know that he is going to to get a massive raise by going to Texas Tech. The only thing that would pull him there would be family ties, right? Yeah. Like, I, I fully believe that, that SMU could pay him whatever they want to or wh- whatever Texas Tech could. So that's I, right. I'm, I'm all in on that. Uh, Jeff Trailer, uh, while I love what Jeff Trailer is doing, he and he is super tied in with Texas high schools and everything else. I, I you you're always wary of the guy that came in and won right away with somebody else's players, right? And this yeah. was a Frank Harris built roster. I I'm a little wary of that, and and there's no there's no concrete offensive system here. It's just a really good, really well coached football team that UTSA has right now. And does that does that continue? Does that maintain? You know, I mean, he's he's got lightning in a bottle right this second. It, it looks like they're probably going to go twelve and. Uh, I say probably, it, maybe they will go twelve and. It is set up for them to. If he does that, I mean, somebody's going to come calling. You you have to answer that call if you're trailer. But I uh, I mean, if I'm Texas Tech, I, I want something that's a little more less flash in the pan, right? That, that you kind of feel the same. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I don't think he's a bad hire. You know, but at the same time, I, I am weary of guys have done it one year. Yes. Yes, that's exactly how I feel about it. Exactly how I feel about it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.